Welcome back to Colorado Sports Connection. We're talking with Colorado's female high school athlete of the year, Missy Franklin. Now, Missy, with all your travel, okay, competing in the USA Swimming, how supportive has Regis been to you? They're nowhere to describe it. I mean, it is absolutely incredible the things that they have done for me. Um, two years in a row, freshman year and this year, I missed both of my semester finals. I missed the whole week. And um, that was really hard, but all of my teachers were so supportive. They gave me everything that I needed to study for them. And um, the assistant principal there, he would come in over his winter break, and he would sit there with me while I did my exams. So, I mean, it's amazing. And, I mean, when I go away on the even the smaller trips, like the Grand Prix, I miss three days of school. And so my teachers are so supportive, and, I mean, they really know that it's, it's a lot harder to do homework on swim meets than it sounds. But... Um, so when I come back, like if I just go up to them and say, you know what, I'm so sorry, I did not have time to do this. They're like, it's totally fine, like take a few more days, we know how stressed out you are. And it means so much to me because, I mean, it keeps me a lot less stressed at my swim meets when I don't have to worry about my homework or a test coming up because I know that my teachers will understand if I'm not ready for it. You know, you know one of the things that I truly admire about you, and there's a lot, <laughs> but and yeah. it's one of the things that You've decided to stay away from the homeschooling mm -hmm. and get the um, high school yeah. education and to be a part of that high school atmosphere. How important is that to you? Um, it's really, really important to me because you only get to go through high school once. I mean, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. And you can ask anyone, like, if I could not be homeschooled, like, I would miss my friends way too much. Um, and Regis, it's so much fun. Like, it's a lot of work, and I mean, I've learned so much when, since I've been there, but I, I wouldn't have any, like, any other option. Just going to Regis, being with my friends, swimming there, I mean, it's a dream come true, honestly. Like, I wouldn't want it any other way. You know, you know you're talking about your friends. Now, last week at, uh, at Regis, when you guys were competing against Cherry Creek, when you weren't swimming, Another thing that I, I picked up on is that when you weren't swimming, you were there cheering on your teammates. It seems like you guys, the team, you guys are truly one. We are. Talk, talk about the relationship you have with your teammates. Um, well, the Regis swim team, it's a one-of-a-kind team. I mean, we are so close. I mean, the entire school, we're just one big sisterhood. And our team, like, we practice together. We, I mean, we dance together. We eat together. We do everything together. And, I mean, so when it comes time for the really big meets, we all know what each other wants, and we're all backing up each other, and we're all supporting each other no matter what happens. And just to know that I have, like, oh, my gosh, like hundreds of sisters at my school who will always be there for me, it's unbelievable. And then our team is just so close, and, I mean, we work so hard together. We work so well together. So. Be because when you, were, when you were racing there, your teammates were screaming and hollering so loud for you and then when it was their turn mm -hmm. you may you were probably screaming even louder and dancing even <laughs> much more than everybody else and I, I think that's just uh, fantastic and then on top of it you maintain a 3.9 GPA yeah. and then you you take some honor classes as well yeah I have three honors classes right now okay so. and and those are um, honors biology honors with history and honors British literature Okay, now, I know we're moving <laughs> ahead here a little bit, but what are your plans after high school, swim-wise? Um, well, there's actually been a lot of talk about it recently on if I'm going pro or not, because um, the Grand Prix are scored, and the swimmer with the most points gets $20,000 at the end of the meets. And um, right now, <laughs> um, I know for sure that I want to swim in college, and you're not allowed to accept any money because you need to keep your eligibility to swim in the NCAAs when you're in college. And I just know that that's something that I want to do because again, college swimming is an experience that you only get once a lifetime and I don't want to miss out on that. And I've had a lot of opportunities to work with amazing college coaches. And right now I'm not really too worried about college. I'm just enjoying high school and just having a good time with it. But once it gets closer, um, I'm so excited for recruiting trips. Those are going to be so much fun. 
Um, but right now, I'll just focus on high school. So. Well, they're, they're telling me that we're going to have to wrap up here, but a couple of things before we go. There's no doubt in my mind, you will be at next year's Olympics, okay? <laughs> so I have to ask you, and I'm going to ask you this on camera right now. <laughs> so when you do all your winning over there in, in England, and you're winning those gold medals, and you're on that box of Wheaties, will you come back to Big Bill and be a guest of ours? Absolutely. Great. <laughs> and another thing. Congratulations on everything. I didn't get to ask you all the questions I wanted to, so we're going to be following your, you know, your career, and we look forward to having you back here at Big Bills. Thank you, Darrell. Ladies and gentlemen, Colorado's female high school athlete of the year and Olympic hopeful, Missy Franklin. That wraps up our show. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll talk to you next week right here on Colorado Sports Connection. Thank you very.